are you taking a medicine called metformin if yes then you need to be aware and make sure that you follow some precautions while you take this medicine if you don't take those precautions it can land you in trouble including a death what are those precautions let's find out namaste my name is dr tanvi mayur patel i'm an endocrinologist hormone specialist doctor from mumbai india now before we continue this video one important information if you want to watch this video in hindi language then on the i button and below in the description box there is a link if you click on that link then this video will be played in hindi language for you agar aap aaj ka is video hindi bhasha mein dekhna chahte hain to upar i button pe aur niche description box mein ek link hai agar aap us link pe click karenge to is video ko aap hindi bhasha mein payenge So let's continue our today's topic and that's the metformin one of the most commonly prescribed medication it is prescribed either if you have a PCOS or if you have a type 2 diabetes mellitus or you have a imbalance of your insulin hormone or if you have insulin resistance and all of these conditions are very common in today's time and that's the reason why metformin is prescribed left right and center but one important information which most of the doctors do not tell to the patient that you need to follow certain precautions otherwise it can land you into a trouble what are those troubles so first of all when you start taking metformin for the very first time make sure that you check your blood sugar and your insulin level because metformin is going to increase the sensitivity of insulin and it will reduce this the blood sugar level so if your blood sugars are already on a lower side and if you continue to take the metformin medicine this can lead you into low blood sugar and can lead into lot of problems so first thing first always check your blood sugar blood insulin level especially if you take this medicine for the treatment of the type 2 diabetes and if you are taking this medicine along with the other class of medicine like insulin or sulfonylurea or any other medication always keep a check on your sugar level and make sure that your hba1c and blood sugar is in the balanced range so this is a very important information second one always check your kidney functions before you take the medicine and intermittently also when you are on this medicine see what happens that metformin medicine is considered one of the very commonly and safe medicine however this medicine can have a one side effect which is called as a lactic acidosis and this lactic acidosis can be a life threatening however this complication does not happen that commonly but still the complication chances is still there and that is the reason why when you are on metformin medicine or when you are prescribed metformin for the very first time always check your kidney parameters and if you find that your kidney functions are not right you might need to speak with your doctor and you might need to consider to stop the medication also at the same time as i told you that this medicine is prescribed for the type 2 diabetes and plenty many diabetic patient have a complications in their kidney so if you are leading into a diabetic kidney disease or if you are into a dialysis or deteriorating kidney functions you need to stop taking the metformin medicine again this is to prevent you from going into a lactic acidosis this is one of the very important information people should be aware of similarly the third precaution is that if you are taking metformin medicine and if you are planning to undergo let's say an x ray or a ct scans wherein they are going to use a injectable dye yes these injectable dye they usually contain the iodine and when we give this dye it reduces the function of the kidney for a time being and at that time if you continue to take metformin again your chances of going into lactic acidosis increases and that is the reason why when you undergo any this any kind of this kind of a scan or even an operation or a surgery 
you should always talk to your doctor or a dentist or your surgeon doctor that you are taking metformin medicine and they can take a precaution in ideally such kind of a situation met we always advise patient to stop metformin at least few days prior and after the scan or the surgery is done after 48 hours later only we start the metformin medicine again ideally after every scan or every surgery or every dental appointment we always advise patient that we recheck the kidney functions and if the kidney functions are better then only you should restart that is the ideal scenario but if at all you do not have the facility of getting a kidney function test immediately then you have to wait at least 2 days 48 hours before you restart the medicine similarly if you are acutely ill if you are having a fever or if you are having any infection if you are having a uh, asthma attack wherein your oxygen concentration level is falling down or if at all you find that you are having lot of loose motions at that time again we ask the patient to stop the metformin medicine again to prevent you from going into the dreadful lactic acidosis situation so keep please keep this point in mind throughout your life as long as you are on the metformin medicine fourth precaution is the allergy yes many people are allergic to plenty many medicine so always inform your doctor that you are allergic to medicine and if yes that medicine can be stopped fifth precaution is the alcohol see alcohol is a part of our social life and many people drink alcohol So if you are going to take alcohol along with the metformin you need to be a little bit more cautious the reason is when you drink alcohol it will reduces your blood sugar and if you continue to take a metformin at that time again that will reduce your blood sugar so your chances of going into low blood sugar increases to a larger extent so always when you are drinking alcohol be very careful with the metformin medicine another precaution is the vitamin b yes see what happens the when you take a metformin medicine your digestive system cannot absorb vitamin b efficiently and that is the reason why plenty many patients who are on metformin they also have a vitamin b deficiency so you should get your vitamin b checked at very frequently and treated accordingly because low vitamin b can lead you into plenty many other health concerns starting from a fatigue to muscle aches to muscle pain to your neuropathy trigger it could be the plenty many so always check your vitamin b level another precaution especially if you take metformin for a condition like pcos or polycystic ovarian syndrome now women who have a pcos they always have a little bit struggle with their fertility and many a times because the periods are irregular many of the times they don't realize that they are pregnant when they are on metformin so if at all you conceive while you are on metformin speak to your doctor see as per many researches and data and plenty many studies it is found that metformin is considered safe during the pregnancy in fact plenty many times many of the doctors use metformin for the treatment of a gestational diabetes also So if you find that you are pregnant you are expecting speak with your doctor and let your treating doctor decide whether the metformin is a right for you or may not right for you every individual case is different so it is difficult for me to say whether you can take or you cannot take similarly women who are feeding breastfeeding and they are lactating mothers again in most of the research and data it is found that metformin is considered safe for the lactating mother Though small amount of the metformin can be secreted into the breast milk, but overall this medicine is considered safe, right? So I hope after watching this video, you got few important points that what all precautions you need to take while you are on metformin medicine. By the way, how to take the metformin medicine correctly so that you get a maximum benefit out of it is also very important. And for that, I have made another video. So if you want to watch that video, so you get a full benefit of this the medicine. I hope you like the video. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe so that you get more and more health-related information. And if you have any of your personal question whose answer you are seeking for, write your question below in the comment box. 
I try to read and answer them as early as I can. We will meet again with some new good useful information. Till then take care of yourself. Namaste.